Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, hope you're all well. I've got a video today that kind of is perfect for this time of year because I, as much as anyone, I'm kind of feeling like a bit blah, a bit drab, kind of like what do I wear, what do I buy at this time of year, how do I style things because it's the end of February, coming into the beginning of March, we don't want to buy winter things but let's face it, the reality is it's still winter and it's still cold and it still will be for, you know, quite a few weeks to come. So instead of purchasing lots of winter things, I thought, how can I do a video that is not really transitional? I don't think we're quite in that period yet, but just things that you can kind of start to carry through or timeless pieces that you can wear again and again that are going to be on trend for the new season. So today's video is five pieces to buy right now. I've got them all on the rail here. Most of them I kind of realise are more like top halves but yeah you can wear them with a lot of classic bottom halves, lots of jeans, leather trousers etc. And yeah I'm going to show you how I style everything and how I'm going to wear it and why I've bought it. So before we get started I'll just mention that this suit is from Forth and Reckless. I'm wearing my Adidas trainers and French Connection t-shirt which should be in my subscription box. If you have ordered it, you will be getting your French Connection t-shirt. So you might either have that now or it will be on its way to you. Anyway, enough of that, let's crack on with the video. So the first piece I'm going to talk about is this lilac knit from Under the Stories. I've searched high and low online to try and find this but I, I can only find it in store. I got this in the Manchester store. I'm hoping it might have come online by now, but they do loads of other lilac pieces very similar to this. And the reason I say lilac is because for one, it's a gorgeous color for spring, but also it's gonna be a really kind of on-trend color. So if you buy it now, you're kind of investing for the full season ahead, but it's still nice and cozy that you can get your wear out of it whilst it's still very wintry. And something else that's gonna be big or has been big and gonna continue is the collared knit like this. We're still seeing it everywhere. So definitely a kind of trend piece to invest into because I also think it's quite a classic as well and I don't think that style is gonna be going away for quite some time. I wear this quite a lot with slouchy jeans. You can also wear it with um, leather trousers. It looks really nice with, or maybe even a short skirt, slightly tucked in with a belt. There are loads of ways to wear this. And although Under the Stories is slightly more of an investment brand, I think you really get your wear out of it because it's such, it's like a statement piece, but something that you can wear time and time again, but people will be like, oh wow, that re that's really nice. And I think lilac is a color that suits a lot of people as well. But yeah, if I can't find this, I'll find something similar and link it. But do know that Under the Stories do loads of gorgeous lilac pieces. So definitely, if you're thinking about going into spring colors, lilac is the one to go for. Next up is this belt, which has gone down so well on Instagram. I actually posted it last night in a picture and it just performed really well and got loads of lovely compliments. Um, it's very oversized, but it's just a plain black belt with a gold buckle. It's from Zara. I think it was $19.99, so really affordable. And if you're not looking to spend a lot of money, which I know a lot of us aren't at this time of year, then an accessory is a really easy way to update your look and kind of keep it looking fresh. You can wear it with all your classic pieces. You can wear it with some of the things I'm going to show you in the rest of the video. And yeah, I think it's a trend that is going to be big for the next season. Zara are doing a lot of chunky belts and it just makes every outfit look a bit more cool. You could be wearing the most simple of blazers and jeans and then put this on with it and it looks really cool and also really flattering and looks good over coats as well. Obviously we're still wearing coats this time of year so if you've got a nice kind of straight coat this over the top looks really lovely and really flattering. So I have kind of banged on about the black blazer quite a lot already on Instagram, probably on YouTube before. I think I actually featured it in another recent video but I really do think that they're worth the investment. This again is an under the stories one and I think it's a size 36 which is a UK 10 and it comes up quite oversized so you could size down if yours isn't available or you wanted to kind of slightly more fitted. 
um, but it's such a good piece. This, I think, is limited sizes at the moment, but there's a really similar one online, so definitely worth the investment. They've definitely got wool in them, which is really nice, so that you can wear it into spring as more of a coat um, when it gets a little bit warmer, but there's still a chill in the air. It's got the wool blend in, so it still keeps you nice and warm. And yeah, you can wear it at night, in the daytime, layered under a coat. I just think a black blazer is the one piece in your wardrobe that you should actually make the investment for because it really is worth it. And this one was 135, I think, and then they've got some similar styles online. But this oversized kind of single breasted style, very in at the moment, but also an absolute classic. And yeah, it's not going anywhere and I don't think it ever will. So whilst we are talking about outerwear, I'm going to mention the trench coat. This is the perfect coat to buy at this time of year because you're going to have it from the minute spring hits and then be able to wear it right throughout the season and into summer and autumn as well. So if you're going to make a trench coat investment, do it now so you can get start getting your wear out of it. Trench coats are great because you can actually layer a lot under them because usually I think it's better to get a non-fitted style so it's a bit more oversized. You can layer it because of that. So at this time of year, you can put a really chunky jumper under it. You could put um, a jumper, a leather jacket, then the trench coat or a blazer. There are loads of ways you can kind of keep the layers on underneath so you stay warm. It looks really nice with a great big oversized chunky scarf. So that's a really good way to wear it. But trench coat, obviously we know it's absolutely timeless, but I feel in the past couple of years, they've really come into their own. Brands are doing some such good styles. This is from Sana NY. This was actually sent to me by the brand and it's gorgeous. Like it's got kind of opposite sleeve details so it just adds that little bit of extra and I'd say that's something to look for in a trench coat is just maybe slightly different details that you wouldn't get in a classic one and I think that instantly makes it look a lot more expensive and as well I think in this like beigey it's not greeny but it's got a slight greeny undertone is a colour that suits a lot of people and it's just really versatile and flexible in your wardrobe. Yeah, it goes really nicely with all your kind of winter colours too. And finally, we move on to denim. Just denim in general, but more specifically here, the denim shirt. So if you've been on Mango's website, you'll know that denim is going to be a huge thing for next season. And they have got a lot of shirts around. I got this last year from Naked Fashion. I'll see if it's still around. But if not, loads of brands are still doing this style with the puff sleeves, the shirt detail, but any kind of denim is going to be really big for the spring. So definitely one to kind of buy now and layer up. You could put a jumper underneath this and layer it that way, wear it open, wear it closed, wear it with like a, what are they called? Like tank top jumpers? What are they called? Like a tabard sort of thing would look nice instead of a white shirt that we'd kind of traditionally gravitate towards. But denim is a really nice fabric for spring because it's kind of something a little bit thicker but still lightweight at the same time kind of crosses that borderline. And yeah, I personally love double denim so I'd wear it with je uh, like denim jeans. But also again with leather trousers, black jeans. I mean there's loads of ways you can wear this. It's pretty much as versatile as a white shirt. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's given you a little bit of inspiration at a time of year that can be very, very lacking in inspiration. I know I'm feeling a bit blur, but kind of refreshing my wardrobe and going through these pieces has given me a little bit of kind of excitement for the new season and just a little bit more inspo. So if you've not subscribed already, I'd absolutely love it if you did, so then you can see when my next videos are popping up. Let me know what you think of the video. Go and follow me on Instagram at Lydia Jane Tomlinson and I will see you in the next one. Bye!